We are well into the old Easter break now, so you desperately need a little, like, family crowd pleaser. Who else are we going to call but Melise? Melise is here. You got look at family her. crowd pleaser <laughs> is your middle name. I oh, hope I love that's what I'm here it's to deliver. It's an old-fashioned Cypriot name, family crowd pleaser. Absolutely, <laughs> my middle name. And I'm here to make you Magarana Furunda, which is a Cypriot pasta bake. I'm making it the way Turkish Cypriots make it. Um, we use beef mince or lamb mince. It's called Magarana de Furunda to Greek Cypriots who might use pork mince and tomatoes. It's uh, called Macarona Bechamel in Egypt. It's, you know, it's one of those things that there are different variations across that whole kind of Levant yeah. region, Mediterranean. And it starts off by browning we start off by browning some beef mints and then we go in with some dried mint and some lovely sweet cinnamon mm. oh, lovely. which is great which is a lovely balance between all those flavors and as you can see i've got a bechamel sauce there as well that's been prepared so you start with a roux of butter flour add some milk it's got bay leaf in there as well oh, nice. and one of the key ingredients in that bechamel is halim or halloumi cheese and that's what makes it typically cypriot so I'm adding some salt and some black pepper into the mince as well. Nice. And finally, you just go in with some onions. Lots That's of a onions. lot of onions. How it's a lot of there? onions, but it adds a lovely sweetness. And the reason we don't caramelise the onions first is because then they soften into the mince, as oh. you can see here, in the middle. So you stir that through and then cook that oh, down onions. for a few minutes. Are you sure you've got the right How little bit of oh, <laughs> I'm sure. going to send a bigger part of onions we want, we want lovely flavour. And you can actually make this vegetarian as well. Do you want so some you can beef with your onions? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want some beef with me? <laughs> That's the right amount I'm of sure onions. I'm sure after three, you might put in your legs. <laughs> no, a lot of onions. Absolutely Lenny, the right your amount. recipes yeah. and your books are so good because they're, oh. like, they're, they're proper crowd pleasers. And I really enjoy cooking your food. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Because it's like, it's easy oh. enough to follow, but you still think you're doing something quite special. Thank you. you know? So what, in terms of pasta, is there much pasta eating in, in Cyprus, Lots, it? and we typically you traditionally think of it. Uh, no, but it is. I mean, we make our own dumplings. So um, you have something called pirohu, which is made from scratch. We have recipes like this. I've made recipes on here before using um, uh, pasta shells and a lamb mince and a butter sauce. So back to the bechamel. Oh, yeah. um, I've got that grated helim or halloumi cheese going in there. Can we serve up? I've got some dried Malik, mint. We're right to serve up. Do you want to serve up? Yeah, is that serve right? Serve up. Oh, is that I've got this is yeah, 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 food at the end of the yeah, item. Yeah, me and Alison just got indigestion for the rest of the day. <laughs> and one of the three <laughs> ingredients in this bechamel as well are some eggs. And that's what gives it a lovely, crispy topping. Thanks, and I'm just going to whisk those in. So is this like a winter dish, Melissa? No, we eat this throughout the years. Like, you literally, you can have it any season, any time of year. I'll go to Cyprus in the summer and my aunt will be serving this up and one of the most mm. beautiful things about it really right. is how all the layers come together so I've got bucatini pasta here um, which are long tubular strands and you can use I've got some more of that grated helim or halloumi cheese you could use a thicker pasta like zitte or zitti uh, pasta as well it's not too cheesy no it's because there's not really any cheese in it really other than the really helim so there's no it's really cheddar subtle. yeah it's so lovely yes. it's got a completely I mean there's so many different types of pasta Bakes that you can obviously get, and I've then got that lovely meaty, mincy mixture going in. Like I said, it looks like a lot of onions, but once they cook down into the mince, they've gone. they They've disappeared. They add a beautiful yeah, sweetness. Yes, can do really not be afraid the of the well. onions. Pardon? We should be ashamed the of ourselves even questioning you about that. I'm so no, sorry. No, no, don't be. Don't be. It's good to ask those kinds of questions. So once you've got the mince in there, we've got the final bit of pasta that goes on top. Oh, so you go pasta, mint, pasta. It's not kind of like lasagna vibes. Exactly. So it's like layering it up, spread that around, a mm. bit more helim on top, like so. Give that a good stir. In fact, let's chuck that all in. Let's go in with all of that. Do you have other cheeses or is, is helim like so the, the, the biggest cheese in, in Cyprus? When, when you make helim or halloumi cheese, you use obviously the curds to make the helim and then the whey is used to make ricotta known as nor or anari. Right. And that's another very traditional Cypriot cheese. Love ricotta, that's... And so once is I've this got, that sauce? This now? is that lovely bechamel, so I've oh, whisked the eggs, so nice. eggs into there and then that just goes on like this. And Look then we're going to finish off with a Absolutely. lovely sprinkling of sesame seeds, which just adds a crispy top to that beautiful bechamel, like so. So we're going to spread that across 
and then sprinkle over those sesame seeds. It gets popped into the oven and then you let it rest once it's cooked for about 40 to 50 minutes. Let it rest for about half an hour so you can cut through it like that. Yeah, it's sprinkle. lovely consistency. It's just, do you know what? I think it's one of those things that if you like it oozy, eat it as it's fresh out of the oven. Yeah. If you want it to set a bit more, you can have it like that. I have frozen portions in my freezer that my kids take in for lunch. So it's really versatile. <laughs> Your kids are well fed, aren't they? Those, they are, those they're kids, happy. Those kids are doing well in life. And that's it. And then it gets in, and then once it rests, it looks like this. And that's my garden for Wow. Absolutely smashed. I don't think I've ever tasted anything like this. I don't think really? you made that in that really time different. as well. It's freaking me out. It's just got a completely unique flavour and texture in itself, hasn't it? It really is unique. And that is the Malise Berg way, people. Oh, Thank you so much. Thanks, Malise. Thanks, Malise. Uh, for details of today's recipes, check out our free this morning app.